Hi, in this video on the Sagan Freesat HD box, I'm going to show you how to add on non-Freesat uh, channels onto the channel listing here, okay? Now this is one feature of the Sagan box in particular that puts it way ahead of the opposition in terms of it's very easy to do and how the channels are portrayed afterwards are excellent, okay? So what I'm quickly going to do here is I'm going to come along and I'm going to press uh, the menu button and the remote control here, so just M with menu written above it. And I come down here to um, receiver settings and it'll ask me for a password, which is the password that I set at the original installation, which I, I'd recommend to people to set to one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're in here now and it asks us, the last option is to add non-freeset channels. I come along here and it'll just be the last channel that we're on. We'll say it's given the frequencies for that. So I, because I have this set on BBC London, the ITV version of it would be ITV London, and I possibly want to add on the other versions, which would be, include UTV maybe for uh, football on a Sunday afternoon, okay? So what I want to do then is I just type in the codes for uh, UTV, which is 10906. Uh, the 22,000 symbol rate is correct, but it should be vertical here. And before we can do the scan, you'll see it's after instantly jumping from, I'll just bring it back to horizontal there. You see there's no signal strength and no signal quality. And if I arrow it over here to vertical, we know instantly that this is going to work. Um, in terms of there's a transponder uh, signal there. So what we do is now we come along, if there was a zero signal strength in that, doing a scan here would be pointless because there's no signal and no signal means that we can't get something. So when we have a signal, we can press the red button now to start to scan. Now this is a relatively quick process here. It'll simply work through in that one particular transponder and see what channels are there. Now it doesn't matter to it whether it's on the free set, the sat line up or not. It'll go to pull these channels in. And what will display to you then is it went and it found 12 channels in total and nine were added. Now the significance of why nine were added is Obviously three of these channels were already being found within the FreeSat channel listing and it's not going to duplicate it. So it's sort of intelligent from that perspective. And what it wants us to do then is if we want to exit now, we simply come along and hit X. Right? So we've exited it out. And if we go now, we'll say to uh, channel 3000. Oh, one, sorry. Uh, what we'll actually do is, sorry, I'd, I'd show you the way to go. Sorry, it's simply go one. This is actually, they've actually been added now. What we simply want to do is come along here to the end of the channel, or the first channel here. And if I arrow down from there, and now hit the OK button to bring up the channel list. We can see that we've added on the various ITVs and it started from channel 301, okay? Um, so from that perspective anyway, very, very good. And uh, if you were trying to do this in Humax box, you'd actually actually lose all of your free sat setting, settings to be able to add the channels on like this. You can't have both together. But with the Sega box here, it's possible to just add them on as if they're extra channels at the very end of the list. And that's a very, very convenient uh, feature of it. So it's not overly complicated, as you can see. Very quick process and very easy to access the channels afterwards, which I suppose is the key point. Okay, that's an overview of adding non-free sat channels onto a, a Sagan free sat HD receiver.